Um, I wanted to go ahead and review this hair because I'm actually about to take it out and install something else. This hair is called the Durban Twist. I don't believe I have the package anymore. As you can see, it's really big, huge, okay? I'm not a hair person as in I don't do my own hair usually, but crochet is so easy that you just like anybody can do it. It took me about an hour and a half because maybe two hours even. I'm not, I'm not quick, um, but yeah, that's how long it took me. I got my hair braided underneath because Sorry, I can't cornrow. She did about 10 braids. She could have done two braids and it would have been fine because this hair is just so big and so voluminous. I used eight packs. I'm thinking that was too much, but at the time I didn't realize it when I was doing it. You don't realize how full it's actually going to be until it's all done. But also I was just, I, I made the grave, grave mistake of trying to, um, like fill in the fill in all the braids and then I quickly realized that, that was not gonna happen this color is I don't know what this color is but I'm gonna put it in as soon as I do the way that you see it looking now is not much different from the way it looked when I initially installed it I mean I've had it in about five weeks now the reason that I wanted to come on here and review the hair as it's older is because I see a lot of videos for hair that like people are installing it for the first time on camera and that's their only review. You know, they've had it in for a few days and they come on and review it and that's their only review. You never really get a chance to see how the hair holds up over time. Like I said, I've had it in for about five weeks and this is what it's looking like. It's pretty dry. Putting oil on it would remedy that, but it's pretty dry, it's pretty tangled. I have actually cut it quite a bit since I've had it in because as it gets old, it starts to form these like little tangles. Um, as you can see, this side is especially uh, nappy and, and kind of matted even in some areas. The curls aren't as defined as they once were, but it does look pretty realistic. Everybody thinks this is my hair. White people, black people, and you know how hard it is to fool black people when it comes to fake hair, but black folks are thinking that this is my hair. So that tells me that this is pretty good hair. It's very, very big. And a lot of people when I first got it were like, ooh, that's really big. But I like big hair, it makes your body look smaller. I really uh, enjoyed this hair. Um, I never really wore it up. What I did do was do like a little bun on top here. I never really put the whole thing up. It, it would have been very cumbersome to try and do that. I don't know. I, I really enjoyed it. I'm just ready for something else. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out. I just wanted to be able to show how the hair looks over time. And you know, not bad, not bad. Um, it probably would have been best had I used less hair. I think I used eight packs. If I would have used less, it would have been, you know, a lot more tame and a lot less voluminous and perhaps it would have held up better. Also, um, it probably would have held up better had I tied my hair down more than like three times in the past five weeks. I didn't really tie this hair up. I didn't do a scarf. I didn't do a bonnet. Usually I was just like <sighs> and I fall out and I go to sleep. It probably would have helped the longevity of this hair had I actually tied it down, but I didn't. And I think it still looks pretty okay. Um, I really like this color. It's kind of an ombre root. The root is a 1B. The rest of it is, God, I don't fucking know. I don't remember. There was a name. And like I said, I'll put it in here when I remember. Were I to do it again, I would use less hair. And I would also tie it up. Just tie it up, girl. It'll stay, it'll stay nice a lot longer if you just tie it up. But yeah really like this and that's all I wanted to come on here to say I bought this hair at beautysupplyforyou.com it was a, a online uh, beauty supply store that I had never heard of but this hair was $1.99 a pack that's right $1.99 a pack a dollar and 99 cents per pack about $16 total for all the packs shipping was $13 but it was like next day or two-day delivery and I mean even with the $13 shipping the fact that this hair only costs $1.99 a pack is, is forgivable it's forgivable so it came quickly the hair was cheap it's held up pretty well um and so yeah I really like it I'm gonna be installing this again Probably not before the year is out, but I'll definitely, I'll definitely do this again. That was my review on the Durban Twist, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!